Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will present the project management module of the Clarity Project and Portfolio Management Solution offered by Broadcom. We will focus on how Clarity enables project managers to better execute on key areas of their projects, like project teams, tasks, risks, and budgets. Let's begin by examining one of the out-of-the-box dashboards that project managers can utilize. This is the Project Manager Alerts dashboard, one of several dashboards that come out of the box with Clarity. Each dashboard is focused on specific types of users, like project managers, resource managers, finance, and executives. On my dashboard, I have four portlets that give unique insights into various elements of my projects. Tasks impacting my project schedule, issues based on priority, milestone details, and resource staffing needs. Each portlet in this dashboard is drillable. I can click on a section to further investigate it. For example, if I want to examine the high priority issues on my projects, I can drill down to access more detailed information. Once I'm done, I can simply return to my dashboard to address other needs of my projects. Most portlets and dashboards in Clarity are configurable by each end user and their information can be exported to Excel. Now let's take a look at the list of projects. Each of these tiles represents an active project in my organization. I can filter the list to see only the projects that I'm involved in. Each tile has key information such as start and finish date, milestone timeline, effort and budget widgets, and quick links to navigate to specific pages of my project. Notice that the configuration for some tiles is different than others. These blueprints allow for unique configurations for different types of projects in the organization. For example, my e-commerce portal project is a very detailed IT project, while the executive dashboard visibility project is very lightweight. It only has some basic details and a status report. Each of these projects can be managed in the most effective way based on the needs of each team. Now I'll drill into my e-commerce portal project dashboard using a quick link. I can access all major modules of projects using the tabs at the top of the screen. Modules can be reordered, added, or removed based on the project blueprint. This dashboard gives me great visibility into key areas of my project. High level risk and issue status, upcoming milestones or phase gates, baselining, project team utilization, a project actuals drill down, and key status indicators. I can view the project's details, which includes information brought over when I converted the idea to this project. I can update the general information like project start and finish date and objective. I can view and update the key stakeholders for the project. Keep in mind, we can configure this page with personalized fields as well. My project team consists of both labor and non-labor resources, as well as roles that have not yet been filled. As a project manager, I can add a role to my project and populate the expected allocations. A little later, we'll look at how resource managers can fill these requests. Or if your organization has a simpler process, Clarity can allow the project manager to add the named resource directly to the project. I can also update the allocations for each resource on a week-by-week -week or month-by-month -month basis. I'm also able to configure different fields to this view. Now, as I look at my task plan, I can view the work breakdown structure or list of tasks on the left. On the right, I have a timeline view showing the duration and dependencies of my tasks. I can open up the flyout on a task to view all the activity and detailed information. The first tab is for conversations. Here, project managers and team members have a chat area built into the task where they can discuss any progress and blockers to completion. This is a common functionality throughout the solution to simplify collaboration in your organization. I also have a to-do list area where team members or project managers can identify necessary activities within a task. This allows for an extra level of granularity without having to create a task for each detail. I can also see who is assigned to this task and assign more team members as well. I can view the task details and configure additional fields to my flyout.
When I need to add a new task, I can click the plus icon to create the task and then drag the task to its place in the WBS. Or I can click within the WBS itself and add the task directly in line as either a sibling or a child task. The timeline area is an interactive schedule where I can push out a task, add to the duration, and create dependencies. Tasks in the timeline are also color coded based on user preference. In my case, I'm using the task status. I could also choose cost type, that is, whether or not it is a capital or operating task, or I could create a custom set of criteria on my own project. Project managers have several out-of-the-box options in viewing their project tasks, including a Kanban board, where we can move task cards from state to state, a bi-directional interface with Microsoft Project, and the Clarity PPM Gantt view, which is more of a traditional schedule-based view. Now I'll move over to my project cost planning. Here, I'm looking at the details of my project cost forecast, or in clarity terms, my cost plan. The cost plan breaks down project costs into detailed buckets. In this example, I have costs broken out between capital and operating, internal and external labor, and non-labor. These buckets of costs are also configurable. And while I'm only using two levels of grouping, the cost type and the transaction class, there are several more levels available to get to the exact level of detail that I need. A common challenge I see with several customers is reconciling project data with the financial team. Oftentimes, the project costs are broken down based on the limited categories of the PPM solution. Then the finance team has to dig in and translate the costs into their own terms. Here, we're able to configure the solution in a way that matches the project cost nomenclature with the finance teams, helping to reduce effort during closing periods. Now that we've looked at how categories can be configured, I'll show how to update the plan cost for the cost plan. The grid can be populated in the following three primary ways. I can manually enter the plan cost by clicking the plus sign button. A new row populates, and I can fill out the required criteria for my cost bucket. In this case, I selected operating and maintenance. Then using my keyboard, I can tab over and enter in the cost month by month. I can also populate the grid using my resource allocations on this project. This option will take the allocations from the project team or the staff page we looked at and populate the grid based on their corresponding rates in the back end of the solution. This option is a little more detailed and much more time effective. Finally, I can populate the grid using my resource assignments on this project. This option will take the ETCs from the tasks the resources are assigned to and populate the grid based on their rates in the back end of the solution. Once my project schedule is well defined, I can use this option to create a very detailed forecast of my planned costs. I'm able to have multiple cost plans, and Clarity keeps a historical record of each one. Once the cost plan is detailed to the level I need it, it can be submitted to become the budget for my project. The ability to submit a budget is separated from the ability to approve a budget by access rights. We can give those rights to the appropriate users in each organization. Many companies view project financials as a difficult and tedious process. Using Clarity to set up the framework behind the scenes simplifies the process tremendously. In this same area, I can also look at some project level cost reporting, including viewing my planned cost versus my actuals. For this example, I want to look at my cost by quarter. I'll also group my results by cost type. Now I can see the planned and actual costs side by side and the remaining budget. Clarity also allows me to drill into my project actuals and see details surrounding each transaction. Now I'll focus on my project risks. This is the list of risks on my project. Like other pages, I'm able to see some key areas information in the list. I can also configure additional columns to this view. 
The checked box in the conversations column lets me know that I have a chat open in the risk. I can click the details flyout to view it. On the details tab, I can view the summary information of the risk. I can also configure and add fields to this view. To add a new risk, I can click on the plus icon and fill out the fields in the list or in the details flyout. Risks will show up in a number of port within reports to keep track of on a single project and throughout the organization. On the links module, I can create links to different online applications like Google Docs or SharePoint, as well as links to other areas of clarity like reports. Each project also has a document repository module where I'm able to store and update project artifacts. The Conversations module is a water cooler-like area where general project collaboration can take place. In a post, I can tag specific members of my project team, or I can tag the entire team as a whole. Tagging people sends a notification to their email, letting them know they've been tagged in a post, like most social media platforms. I can also attach documents to a post for review or sign-off. I'll finish up projects with my status report module. There are several different reports that can be run for status reporting and clarity. This report lives on my project and is easily configurable to end users. I can update my high-level indicators of schedule, scope, and cost and effort, enter my status report update, and upcoming activities. There are also some basic cost and effort metrics. In addition, I also have the next two weeks calendar view at the bottom. This view shows all upcoming tasks and milestones that are scheduled to be completed in the next two weeks. This report is also configurable. I can add and remove different components of the status report. Once the report is ready, I can preview the output and publish it to update the project status across different portlets and reports in Clarity. I can also download this copy as a PDF. In this video, we have shown how Clarity PPM enables project managers to better execute on key areas of their projects, like project teams, tasks, risks, and budget. You can find more videos demonstrating other core components of Clarity PPM on our website. If you would like to schedule a more focused demo for your team, please contact Windmill using the information on the screen.